Question number 24, we are told the fifth term, the first, fifth, and seventh terms of an arithmetic progression uh, correspond, AP corresponds to the first three consecutive terms of a decreasing geometric progression, GP. The first term of each progression is 64. The common difference of AP is D, and the common ratio of the GP is R. A, Roman number one, write two equations invo involving D and R. Okay, because of space, I'll just uh, uh, solve it uh, part by part. So we have A, Roman number one. Uh, so the first thing that we remind is ourselves is uh, AP. How do we write the geomet arithmetic progression? We write this is A, A plus D, and A plus 2D uh, on and on. And the nth term is uh, a plus n minus d into bracket, not d but uh, n minus 1 uh, into bracket uh, d. Uh, so for GP, uh, it implies that we have a, then we have a r, then we have a r squared, then we have the nth term of that GP is a r n minus 1 so that you run in form 3 now with that uh, then we can say we have been told that our a is equals to 64 they share common uh, the first term so we can write now the 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 first term of the ap is uh, the first term of the ap let's say it is a uh, the fifth term of the AP is uh, A plus 4D, that is you substitute 5 minus 1 is, is 4, then we have 4D. And the seventh term is A plus, this will be 7 minus 1 is 6D, uh, like that. And it is the same, uh, the first consecutive terms of, uh, the GP, of the GP, we have A. Uh, then we have a r then we have a r squared because we have been given that the first term is equals to a uh, 64 this implies that th the fa the this is 64 uh, then we have uh, 64 plus 4d then we have 64 plus 6d that is we substitute 64 for a the other one will be 64 uh, then we have 64 r that is for the gp and then we have uh, this is r and we have 64 r squared now because we have been told to write two equations uh, involving d and r then we can say that uh, uh, then 64 uh, we, we start with this one then we are going to say that uh, 64 plus uh, plus uh, 4D is the same as 64 uh, R. That is the, the second term of the GP. And we have 64 uh, plus 6D is equals to uh, the, the, the third term of the GP is 64 R squared. Uh, which we can rearrange to have uh, 64 on one side then we write 64 r minus we take 4d to the other side is equals to 64 and we have uh, 64 r squared minus 6d is equals to 64 so that is how you write that and uh, you get yourself uh, two marks but uh, you get yourself for expressing that that is one mark and uh, getting the two equations that's another mark uh, that's another mark so let's go to part b in Roman number one part a we have found two equations connecting d and r part b we are find the we are told to find the values of d and r so these two equations we can write them here uh, 64 r squared minus 6d is equals to uh, 64 the other one is 64 r minus 4d is equals to 64 
So these are simultaneous equations. Uh, we can solve by eliminating one of the unknown. The easier one is to eliminate D. So we can multiply here by 2 and here by 3. This will make uh, 6D to be 12, 4D to be 12. So when you multiply uh, 64 R squared, you get 128 R squared minus 12 uh, D is equals to this will give us 128. Then the other one you multiply by 3, that will give us 192R. Uh, this will be minus uh, 12 D is equals to, when you multiply 64 by 3, you get 192. Uh, now, because we want to eliminate D, we subtract so that minus 12 D minus minus 12 D will be minus 12 D plus 12 of d that will give us zero so here it means that uh, we have uh, 128 r squared you minus 192 r is equals to and 128 minus 192 will give us minus 64 uh, we can recognize this and say this is 128 r squared minus 192 r you bring 64 to the left hand side it will be plus 64 is equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation which we can simplify and get uh, so we have 128 r squared uh, minus 192 uh, r plus 64 is equals to 0 let's divide by 64 so we divide by 64 divide by 64 divide by 64 we simplify uh, once you divide that uh, you'll be able to get uh, 64 and 64 you get 1 uh, this will give you 3 and this will give you 2 so it means our quadratic equation is actually is actually 2 uh, r squared minus 3 r uh, plus 1 is equals to 0 uh, you get the factors of this uh, you get two numbers you multiply 2 multiply by 1 that is 2 you get two numbers such that when you uh, multiply them you get 2 when you add them you get uh, minus 3 so these two numbers you have 2r uh, squared this is minus 2r uh, minus r mi plus 1 is equals to zero you factor out two r you get uh, you get uh, otherwise instead of going so now that you have understood that we get the factors r r minus one uh, and we have two r minus uh, the minus one is equals to zero implying r is equals to one or uh, r is equals to minus a plus a half that is a, a half now this is a half and because we are told it is decreasing then we ignore we ignore one because if we put one here our if we substitute r for one our gp will not change to be constant so r is equals to a half with that then we substitute our r in one of the equations so we say 64 multiply by a half minus 4d is equals to as uh, is equals to that is 64 this will be 32 and when you uh, work out on that you'll be able to get our d is equals to minus 8 that is you take that you form 4d to the other side and 64 to this uh, other side that will be give you uh, 4 d is equal to minus 32 you divide by 4 both sides you get d is equal to minus 8 so in part b we are told find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression so the formula for finding the arithmetic pro the sum of uh, uh, n terms of an arithmetic progression or we say it is n divided by 2 into bracket uh, we have 2a uh, plus we have uh, 
n minus 1 into bracket d and you close that bracket so that so what do we have we already have we are told n is equals to 10 we have a we had a is 64 and we have found our d is equals to minus 8 so what remains is just to substitute and say the sum of the first n 10 times is equals to 10 divide by 2 into bracket then we have uh, 2a that is 2 multiplied by 64 uh, then we have uh, plus uh, 10 minus 1 into bracket we multiply by minus 8 and we close the bracket so this is going to give you uh, this is equals this is 5 uh, you put the bracket 2 times uh, uh, 64 is 128 then we have 10 minus 1 is 9 uh, 9 multiplied by minus 8 is minus 72 minus 72 close the bracket so this is equals to uh, 5 you multiply by 128 minus uh, 72 that will give you 56 and that when you multiply using your calculator you should be able to get 280 so the the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression is 280 uh, there you get two marks for working out or identifying uh, the, the the method and getting the answer so that's how you work out that let's go to Roman number 2 so Roman number 2 of part b we are told find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric progression so the formula for finding that the sum of the first term of a gp is equals to we say when because our r is less than one we use this formula a into bracket one minus one minus r to power n you close the bracket and you say uh, uh, that is a uh, 1 minus r so that is how you work out that so we substitute uh, this is supposed to give us uh, this is n that is common so we now say s10 is equals to our first term is 64 then we have 1 minus uh, 1 over 2 you will put it to power 10 we can use square bracket like that and we say it is uh, 1 minus a half uh, so this will give us uh, so this is equal 64 then we say it is a uh, 1 minus this will be 1 divided by 2 to power 10 uh, because 1 to power 10 is the same as 1 and we have uh, a half so this is going to give you 64 uh, when you work out inside here 2 to power 10 is 1024 so you so you you'll be able to get uh, 1023 you divide by 1024 and when you work out this then you should be able to get this is equals to uh, you use you can use your calculator and you'll be able to get it is 127.875 so that's how you work out that question uh, of course you get uh, one mark there for substituting and working out the solution and one for the answer uh, you get two marks so that's how you work out that question i hope you have followed uh, if you have not uh, you can watch on my video on uh, sequence and series uh, you'll be able to understand how we operate uh, how, or how we work out problems involving and uh, GP and AP get more of this uh, subscribe to this channel then click this icon to get the notification whenever I produce a new video you can call or whatsapp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class